Hey everybody, it's Brian. Just here for a quick video today. I had a few things that I wanted to share. Uh, this isn't anything long, this isn't a build, this isn't part of the Middle Earth Ranger series. Uh, but I haven't posted anything in a while and I just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, first off, uh, recovery wise, my hand, my fingers are pretty much back to normal. Uh, strength and mobility wise, I've got all of that back. Um, the only thing I really have left is some lingering sensitivity in the fingers, but other than that, they're doing pretty well. Uh, secondly, for my birthday this year, for turning 40, I decided that today, this year was a good year to treat myself to a real sword, a functional sword. So I picked up one of the Windless Oakshot Type 14 swords. I've been pretty happy with it so far. This will be replacing the prop sword in my Middle Earth Ranger kit. So you'll be seeing quite a bit of this. And since I now own a functional sharp, hey, um, sorry, there's a brown headed nut hatch over there. I decided to make a stand to go on top of my tillering tree. If you've some, seen some of my older bow making videos, you might have seen this tillering tree before. And so I just made a stand that will mount to the top of it so that I can have a water bottle cutting stand. Ultimately, uh, on the Middle Earth Ranger Forum, we have an ongoing game that's similar to horse, we call it sword, where one person will do a bottle cutting trick and then everybody else gets to attempt it. And if you don't attempt it, then you pick up a letter, just like in horse. The goal is to not get to the full word of sword. Um, I have some catching up to do because I haven't done a lot of cutting in quite some time. So my technique's a little rusty and those guys are good. Uh, they're doing some things that I never would have attempted in the past. So now that I have a stand that can support multiple bottles, um, I can work on some of the different cuts that they do. Ooh, just cut the cap. Oh, get it before the water leaks out. I can work the different cuts that they do. Like I said, I need some practice. And hopefully, eventually, be able to compete. So, the birds are mad that I'm getting in front of their feeder. So yeah, so that's all I have today. New cutting stand, new sword, new fingers. So thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll get to see you guys again very soon. I look forward to seeing more of this in the future, especially once I actually sharpen it, because we're still working with the factory edge, and it's doing pretty well. So thanks again, and I'll see y'all soon.